G'day everyone, uh, thanks for coming back again. Familiar spot, I've actually, this is the third year in a row now I've uh, seen off the Milky Way core for the year from this location, beautiful sweeping valley and the Milky Way core just setting down there in the west behind me. Now last year's video I did a bit of a micro four thirds versus full frame uh, comparison. Tried to keep things equivalent there as much as I could, but I did think I could get better out of the, the Micro Four Thirds shot off my GX85. And I'll put a, that image up here now, and you'll probably see the, uh, the sky data was actually not too bad for, for the, the camera it is. However, because I waited till dark to take my foreground and taking long exposure, stacked images, I was just dealing with a whole lot of thermal noise when I boosted those shadows in post to try and get some detail out and it was just really heavy magenta cast with a lot of chroma noise and really struggled to get that looking in any way respectable. So this year I wanted to get here not a bit earlier, just now during blue hour, uh, get my foreground shots done with my GX85 uh, and then wait for the Milky Way core, which will be chasing the sun pretty quickly this at the moment because we're already in November. So it'll be popping out pretty much straight up in the top of the frame there um, once the uh, light dies down. I've also got an X-Factor camera this time around. Um, not going to tell you what it is, I'll let you guess, but it's sort of jumping down that same rabbit warren of trying to push gear that isn't really pushed as uh, onto people as being landscape astrophotography sort of suitable. So just really making it hard for myself, I guess, and seeing, seeing what I can get out of, you know, different lens and uh, camera systems. So uh, I'll be doing that as well, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, do a very similar sort of comparison to what I did last year, but it'll be between the GX85 and this X-Factor camera. So anyway, we'll keep going. I've got to get these shots laid down for the GX85. I don't want to keep yabbering and miss the blue owl like I did last year. <laughs> 